I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. I'm going to do something a little different this time. Thanks to Amy E who made a suggestion. I'm going to bet on who might win after the Charleston, just as if we're playing a five player game and you could do the same thing after the Charleston, pause the video, make a comment of who you think will win the game. Player one, two, three, four, east, south, west, north. And then at the end of the game, we'll see what the consensus was. I'm going to use this wind of the round indicator from my Hong Kong Mahjong set, and then I'll place it upside down on the table. We'll look and see if I was right at the end of the game. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. East will get 14 tiles. Southwest and North will get 13 each. Then we're going to look at each player's hand and see where the strings lie figure out what to play. We'll go through the Charleston and then we'll bet. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for East. Okay, East has a pair of jokers, pair of flowers, one north, one white, pair of sevens, eight, six, eight, six, seven. I think we should do consecutive seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, I wouldn't pick a hand yet. I would just gather six, seven, eight and see what happens. Discard these, but I don't think I would pass a white. Six, seven, no, six, seven, eight. Let's give up the six bam. And Seven eight seven eight potential six seven eight seven eight seven eight potential or like numbers with sevens. Okay, so I would keep that. Let's see what we can do for south. Yeah. One, two, four, five, eight, nine. Fives south, single south. One through five consecutive run. One, three, five, seven, nine. Three, seven. Those don't go together. Let's pass those. I think I would probably place something consecutive here. Let's see what we can do for west. Pair of fours, that's the strength. Two, two, four, four, five, four, five, consecutive run, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, one through five. We can pass those. Okay, let's see what we can do for north. Hung at East. I'd play Dragons and Winds, maybe even a Quint East. Let's keep Evens. If we get West, maybe we could play East and West with Evens. Okay, now we have to already pick because I'm not going to pass all fives. There's no way I would do that. We need to pick something. Let's pass one of each suit. 
Okay, we're ready to do the Charleston. East passes to south, south to west, west to north, and then north down to east. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. I want to use these though. Seven, there is a addition hand, seven, five, twelve. Seven, five, twelve. Seven, eight, seven, eight, or like numbers with sevens. Oh, I really don't like passing white dragons, but I think in this case I would. Six, seven, six, seven. Actually, let's stick with it. Four dot. Fill a gap. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe. I don't like dedicating my jokers that early. We could do four, five. If we get some flowers. Now I would not pass two sixes. I would not do that. Let's give up a nine. Either a nine or the eight. Either one would be fine. Here's a three. Two, three, one through five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Or four, five, four, five. I don't think we need the three dot. Let's focus on two suits. Okay, east and west with sixes. One of each suit. Okay. Now we're gonna go to across east and west, north and south. We got a seven, seven, eight, seven, eight. Or addition, seven, five, 12 with flowers. We got tiles to pass. Five, four, five, I don't think any of those are going to be helpful. White dragon. Three crack. One through five. If we get a three dot, we could maybe do two, three, four white. Let's just keep the white. If we pair up and get flowers, we could maybe play a, a pair hand. Let's pass those three. Actually, this might be better because three, five could go together. Three, six could go together. Five, six could go together. Here, it's still a little risky because we have evens and a two, five in one suit. But either, no matter how you slice it, it's going to be risky. Okay, here we go. There's a north. We got a six. Potential quint, east, six, green. Let's go ahead and give up on that. We could always fall back on news with dragons, maybe. So we went across now. We're going to go first left. North passes to west, west to south, south down to east. and east up to north. Okay. Oh, we got the seven. Now we have to choose. Maybe we could use this for the five. I think we could commit to the addition hand. Hmm. I mean, we still could play seven, eight, seven, eight concealed. But one flower in this hand will be set. 
if we played 7878 seven, and got rid of that, we wouldn't need a flower. We would just need to fill in here. But there's all these singles. Oh, okay. So that, let's see, we did first left. We're on second left. I would not stop the Charleston. We could still do like numbers with sevens. Let's go ahead and give up on the, the, uh, the addition. Oops. Let's give up on addition and go with seven, eight, seven, eight or like numbers with sevens. We got a six, one through five. I don't think I would pass all these like this one suit. That's pretty risky. I think I would break it up a little. Two suits, two suits. One through five. We need three dots in here. Oh, we got a keeper. Five crack. One through five. There's a red. Three, six, nine. That's pretty risky right there. I wouldn't pass a white dragon if I didn't have to, though. I think I would risk that. We got a south. East, south. White. Uh, I don't think I would do that though. Quint. Big hand. Let's break this up. Let's pass a north. So we did first left. Now we're going to do second left. North to west. West to south. South to east. And east up to north. No keepers. We got the two back. We're going to obligatory cross, so we're going to stick with it. No keepers. I would pat. Let's see. We could maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I think it was mm, fine the way it is. Oh, no. Either way, it's going to be risky, and we would be left with potential like number pass. Ugh. It's difficult no matter how you slice it. Okay, here we go. Oops. No keepers. No keepers. That was second left. Now we're going across. East and west, north and south. Sevens, like numbers with sevens. We can pass those. No keepers, painful. No keepers. No keepers. I think I would stick with it. Because we could always switch back to news with dragons or news concealed. That was a cross. Now we're going to do last right. East to south. South to west. West to north, north, to east. No keepers. Keepers! Three, five, one, two, three, four, five. This hand is one away from being set. We need a one dot or a two dot. We can pung, kong, pung, really even stay concealed maybe who knows no keepers we got a six 
we had a six before too, but no west, east and west with sixes, that, that would be a long shot. Now we're gonna do optional cross, everybody's ready to go. So east and west, north and south. No keepers. No keepers. No keepers. Oh, we got a, a six and in north. I think we're in between. I would discard those. Okay, we're done. We're done with the Charleston. So now we're gonna bet. So I'm gonna pick who I think is gonna win. You do the same thing, write in the comment section below who you think will win. If you're watching this up to this point, do not read through the comments to see who won because there's going to be comments about the winner and the game. Try to refrain from reading the comments until the end of the game so you can see if you were right and see what the consensus was. So I am going to pick who I think will win. Here, just so you know what I'm thinking as a player, I would play like numbers with sevens or seven, eight, seven, eight concealed pung hand. Here, I would play one through five consecutive run. So this player has four discards. This player has three discards. This player, one through five, if we can get flowers, I would maybe play the pair hand or the one through five consecutive run hand, first one like this one. They have, they really have five discards. This player, I would push for a quint or news concealed. Maybe the news Kong hand. We have a gap, no west. We could maybe fall back to news with dragons, but we have no flowers. So I'm gonna go ahead and bet who I think is gonna win. And I'm gonna put it upside down right there. Okay, we're gonna discard nine dot. Nine dot. It's this player's turn. Red. I don't want dragons. I'm gonna discard it. Red. Drawing four west. Two crack. That's a good keeper. Let's get rid of the nine dot. Drawing four north, two dot, nee. we'll discard it. This is concealed, pair, 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 pung, pung, kong. We're gonna draw. Joker, that's nice. Let's discard the two bam. Drawing here. One bam. Um, one through five, four, five, six. I think I'll keep that six. Let's get rid of the two bam. Drawing four west. Joker. One, two, three. I'd give up on the pair hand. Let's discard the red dragon. Joker bait. Oops, three bam. Let's get rid of the eight dot. Okay, down here. Nine bam. Drawing four south. Two bam, that's been thrown twice now. Third one out. Drawing for west. Four crack, wow. They're picking good. Six dot. Neck and neck here. Okay, this player. One, bam. They need jokers or wins down here. Two, bam, all out. Drawing four, south. Two, crack. 
one dam's been thrown. Let's draw eight bam. Drawing for north. Nine crack. We'll discard that. Nobody wants it. Drawing for east. North. We'll discard the north. Okay, up here. They're not ready. Drawing. One crack. None of these are out. Let's discard the two crack. This is a pair. They don't need to pung or anything like that. We need pung, pung, which they have, and kong. So they need a pair here. Five crack. Three bam. Okay. They're set. They're ready to go there. Let's draw. One dot. Three bam was just thrown. Let's discard that. Three bam, down here. Oops, east, east. And this player's playing a quint. They have no joker. Drawing, nine crack. Drawing for west, five crack. Wow, they really drew well. Let's discard the white dragon. Kong, Pong. They need to pung here, ready to win on a one crack. Let's draw. Nine crack was already discarded. We just got through the second wall. We're going into the middle game. Everybody should know what hand they're playing, or at least what category they're in. Here, seven, eight, seven, eight, concealed pung hand. I would probably go ahead and get rid of that. One through five. They just need to pung, pung, pair up. Here, they need to pung, pair, one away. Here, we need jokers or winds and dragons and flowers. Drawing for east. Red, that's already out. Third one. Drawing for south. Three dot. Okay. Fives, fours, threes, one, two. We need a pair in here badly. Let's throw the one crack. They're not ready. One bam. North. One dot, joker bait, discard six bam. Drawing down here. Whoops, six bam. Eh, five bam, let's throw that. Oh, I should have thrown the six bam. There's already one out. That's all right. Let's draw six crack, discard. Oh, I should have thrown the five bam. I think I'm getting tired. Okay, here we go. Drawing four west. Flower. Hmm. I think I would be set here. I'm going to get rid of this flower. That's really a risky tile. I don't want to hold on to it. Nobody needs it right now, so it's safe. We're going to draw. Nine dot. Down here, we're going to draw. Four dot. Six bam was thrown. Let's discard that. Right here, we'll draw three dot, three, four, five. Let's throw the five bam. They need a one or a two to get ready to win. One away, right here, seven dot. Let's get rid of this white dragon. If you're not gonna use dragons, get rid of them early. They're, they have one away from ready, one away from ready, two away from ready. This is a mess. Let's draw. Three crack. If they're playing a quint, they could quint either one of these. Let's draw. Eight dot. Okay, they could do either seven eight or seven eight. 
78 dot, 78 bam, either one. Let's discard the four dot. And let's see here. Let's pung. Maybe we could get them to play a pure hand and discard the six dot. So we'll throw that. We need a one or a two. If we could get a flower, no. I was thinking we could do three, four, five, but we punged. Okay, so that was here. We're going to draw four dot. We'll discard that. Drawing here. White dragon. I think I would probably give up on a quint up here. Sixes are out. Let's throw the six crack. And down here we can draw west. Drawing for south. Nine bam. Drawing for west. Three crack. Five, four, three, two, one. Ready to win on a one crack. West is ready to win on a one crack, and they're one away from pure. That means no jokers in a hand that could use jokers. Up here we're going to draw. Five bam. Right here, drawing. Flower. Four flowers. Let's give up on one of these. What's out? There's an eight dot out. Let's throw the eight dot. I'm thinking maybe we could switch them to like numbers with sevens and six flowers. Drawing four south, four bam. Drawing four west, four crack. They're ready to win. Let's not mess with perfection. Discard four crack. Drawing for north. Seven dot. Six cracks been thrown. We'll discard that. Drawing for east. One bam. We'll discard that. Drawing for south. Green. They're not ready for it. Drawing for west. Eight crack. Discard. Drawing for north. Three crack. It's out. Let's discard. Three crack. I'm going to pung. Discarding. White. Or joker. That's not a white. It's a joker. Now, they're ready to win on a pure hand with a one crack. No jokers. One exposure. Nobody's going to know what they're doing. They could be playing consecutive run, little odds, or three, six, nine. There's no way to know. Let's draw. Six bam. Drawing for east. Five bam. Drawing for south. Six bam. Drawing for west. Flower. Discard. Okay, this player. This is not coming in. I would pung and escalate my hand. Sevens with six flowers. That's what I would do here, I think. We're ready to go here. Any seven and a flower. They're set with like numbers with sevens and six flowers. Let's throw the eight bam. Drawing four south. Seven crack. We're going to Kong. So now everyone's going to know we're needing sevens. We're going to discard the eight crack. Drawing four south, west. This poor player up here is really hurting. So now we're going to draw two crack. We need a one crack. Drawing four north, seven bam, or seven dot, either one. I don't think either one, oh, there's a seven dot out. 
Let's discard that. So let's see. We're going into the end of the middle game, going into the end game, I would claim it because I do not know if the seven BAM will come out. Really, I would be tempted to wait for the seven BAM because we could maybe do a pure hand because there's already a seven dot out, but I don't know where the sevens are. So I'm going to Kong and everybody's going to know we need a flower to win. Seven BAM. Half naked weight. Everybody knows what we need. This player's turn. Flower. Let's throw a joker. Oh, that's too bad. I might I might have to play defense and not throw that. Let's draw. That's a tough situation there. Five dot. Discard. I am going to Kong. <laughs> and discard the Joker. They're one away from ready from a pure hand. So I don't know. I might throw that. I don't know. Let's draw seven bam. There's the seven bam. Okay, drawing for north in a minute. We just got through the second wall. <laughs> so now. Everybody would have to decide if they're going to push to win or play defense. Here they're ready on a flower. Here they're one away from ready on a pure hand, needing a flower. Or they have a flower to discard, knowing that this player is ready on a flower or maybe ready on a flower. Here, ready to win on a pure hand with a one crack. There's one out. Here, Quint with no jokers. I think defense probably up here or news with dragons they have no flowers they should probably play defense flower Ooh, they got a flower let's discard the seven bam drawing here Eight dot drawing for south, south drawing for west, eight dot drawing for north, west. Wow, look at that! Let's discard the one dot news with. Let's see. News with dragons. Or, so they have four discards. Dragons are kind of risky to p discard at this point of the game. Five discards. I think I would discard the wins because nobody wants wins. That would be a good defensive way to go and still not give up. So let's draw for east. This player wasn't ready for that one dot. There's two out. No, that was the first one dot out. North. Joker, don't need it. Drawing for west, two dot, discard. That is the second two dot out. There's only one left, one left. No, there's two left. Drawing for north, four bam. Drawing for east, flower. That would be mahjong, self pick. like numbers with sevens and six flowers. That kind of came out of nowhere. Here, we had a scary tile and their hand was kind of going down, but they were pure, no jokers. Here, 
No joker's pure hand needed a one crack. Up here, they were playing a quint with no jokers and then switched to noose with dragons. Okay, who did you pick to win? Did you pick this player? Let me show you who I picked. I picked South. I picked this player right here. I really thought they were going to get it. Early on, it looked like they were going to get it. And then this player came up, and then this player came up, I think, from... from They were kind of trailing. Actually, this player was trailing the end the whole way. Then this player, then this player, and then this player. I think this would have gone first, second, third, fourth, but it ended up being first, second, third, fourth. As far as probability of winning as the game progressed, you never know what's going to happen. And as you make your decisions, it could really change, change on a dime. This player made the right choice at the right time and ended up winning with like numbers with sevens coming from consecutive run 7878 concealed pung hand. It's the flowers, I think, that made it. And then having all those jokers so they could Kong and Pung. Did you pick the right player to win? As you know, I didn't. I thought it was going to be South. They were set early on, and then West really came to the lead, and then East came from behind, and poor North. They were kind of trailing the whole way. I thought this was kind of fun. So thank you, Amy, for the idea. I think it's a good idea. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. I'll take a consensus and if you like it, I'll keep doing it. If you like the video overall, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire, for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.